And last but not least, let's talk about Bad Boys Ride or Die. Sure. So, Ricardo, I want you to do this stuff. So this is right. So, sure. everybody will see this when it comes to the reviews. So, I will see it as well, right? It's kind of funny that, you know, this one here is not called Bad Boys for Life because, yeah, because, yeah, this is the well, fourth film, right? Boudoum, well, there's two reasons right? for this, eh? Yeah. Two reasons for this. Mm, one, yeah. they, don't, they don't do this already. And then, secondly, Puffy, 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 go. Enough. So, you can't yes, do that shit. Yes, yes, yeah. exactly. Um, I, I, I like just, just right out the gate with that first trailer, no diddy. Because, yeah, yeah, with Bad he, Boys for he, Life, it yeah. was driven no by he, the he, Bad Boys for no Life song, right? Yeah, yeah, no, 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 diddy, no, diggy, no diggy. diggy, no diggy, yeah, no diggy, diddy, right? Yeah. So yeah. So P did it. But, P did it. P did it. Is cocked. Moving on. Yeah, moving on, no, moving no. on, right? Right. But here's the thing, right? So of course, but, but Arika... in a sense, in a sense, it's funny because you have two other actors in this that kind of quote unquote, I would say cancelled, but they kind of a little, little trouble. Um, well, three, I should say, if it, if it depends on how you want to look at it. Um, uh. Uh, right, so and they, but they show up in this, and it's like, okay, they this, all right, no problem. <laughs> like, well, okay, okay, all right, we'll, yeah. uh, we'll talk about that, right? Right, so Bad Boys for Life, right? 2020, right? January 2020, right? Um, to, I mean, 2020 in general, I mean, terrible year, right? The year sucked, right? But yeah. I'll never forget, though, um, seeing Bad Boys for Life do in cinema and you know, at the time saying, oh, this could possibly be the best Bad Boys movie, right? And I'll right. talk about that in, in terms of how I feel with this new one here, right? But looking back at it now, though, um, it's still it's still, a, it's still a solid action film, right? It still is, right? Yeah. And I feel like, you know, the guys, um, Adil and um, uh, Bilal, if I got the names, if, well, if I got the, the professional stage name, or if it is wrong, or whatever it is, forgive me. But yeah, Adil, you know, the directors themselves, right? Yeah, they right. did a solid job, right? But still, yeah, what, and, well, what and Michael, Bay, Michael Bay gave them the blessed he show up in the movie, he still yes. produced it. It's, it's well, yeah, it's, it's fine. He, he did, yeah. But yeah, you know, watching it again, again, this was literally the second time I saw it since you know I watched it back in 2020. Yes, I would admit, just like how you felt when you saw it, Ricardo, the energy was just lacking, boy. And it's, it, it's it really don't have, it's, of... it's a different energy, it's not, it's not right. that it have no energy, yeah? it's just a different, it's a different energy, energy. And I prefer, yeah, yeah. And I prefer... And we'll, I'll just make a simple, to me it's a very simple comparison to something else. Because it feel, it's under really feel like that now. Uh. It's, it's, it's going to become that, that kind of thing, but we'll, we'll find out with that. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so that's the thing. Um, say what you want about Michael B as a director. Say what you want about the first two Bad Boys movies, but they had an energy to it. There was a flair to it. It was, it was especially yeah. the second one, though. Uh, yeah, cause you could talk about how mindless the action is for these, right? But that shit kept you, it, it kept you excited, right? You know, it, it kept your eyes open, right? Even though you're probably ruling, you're ruling them for, for various scenes, right? But whatever. But yeah, this one, Bad Boys for Life, was a different energy. So while I admire the, what the energy that they put into it, though, there were moments where, admittedly, it's like, but you know, Michael B did this better. You know, if Michael B was right. just there to kind of guide them a little bit, you know, these scenes could have been a little bit more kinetic, right? And whatnot, right? right. But what I really do admire, though, was how they made, how they raised the stakes in that film, right? So it wasn't just random drug dealer, and, you know, eventually he'll go for what are they, what are they friends? What, what, are, what are Will, sorry, what are Marcus's or my, uh, Mike's family members like with the with right. the, the, the previous films, no, they, they made it even more serious by having the, the well, the two villains basically being yeah part of 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 uh, of, of mike's family so it basically was he baby mama and his son you know what i mean so it was like that right and how they frame it so they they made it a lot more personal that that one really right. speaks a lot to her right? so yeah you know what i mean i but still for what it is i enjoy it but it's not no action masterpiece or anything like that right right but right, wrap right. it up here the the interesting thing about that show was that that was one of the few theatrical shows that i saw before cinemas locked up for like X amount of months until right, right. Dude came out in like October, right? So yeah, yeah uh, I I, I kind of had to put Bad Boys for Life in my best of list, but that was like at number 20. Like I think I had 20 or 25. That was like at the bottom, but yeah. I, I, enjoyed the re I enjoyed seeing it in theaters, right? So that's what I put it there. But in no way would I say even after seeing it again, that it is like one of the greatest action movies of all time, right? And I will, I, I kind of have to say this too about the franchise as well. You know what I mean? But I'll get to that in my review because, yeah, that that for me kind of affect how I oh, saw this new one and how yeah. I kind of see this whole series in general, right? But yeah, how yeah. I felt, as I say, because it, it lacked the quote unquote the behem, right? Um, yes. Mm -hmm. You know, what, what it felt like for me, it felt like, oh boy, it was a good comparison off the top of my head, how it felt. Like. It felt like Scary Movie 3. 
right? Uh, well, okay, tell, tell me more. Tell me more. Scary Movie 3, Scary Movie 3 is a different feel to it. It felt like an older style of action, more generic kind of humor. An older style of uh, humor. Well, and, and actually, PG2, T. You should All remember right. that. And it, yeah, the it first two was, was, <laughs> was raunchy, raunchy R, right? This, this, but right. she was real tone, though. Like the real tone. Right, but it felt, it, it felt more, more, more dialed back and more accessible. And to me, it just felt like something. Like, it felt more like a Zucker's film. Right, a Zucker, like a like a mid '90s Zucker film, so I didn't I didn't love it, but it was still funny, right? Same thing with this. It's mm. not as edgy as as uh, or don't have the energy that the, that Michael Bay has, but it has a different energy that work in its own right, and it's up to you. To, and I know a lot of people who seem to like, uh, you know, that it all it all appeal to that edginess to 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 sell it on it now. But sorry, the, that that was the sell of uh, Bad Boys was the sell. Like Michael Bay was his cell and, and Will is his cell. And even though Will and Martin still they they still they feel a lot more sanded off in, in the third one. But I can let it slide because they're older. They're yeah. supposed to be they're supposed to be softer. They're supposed to be more like, you know, dialing it back and so on and so forth, right? And yeah, yeah so that's uh, that's well, uh, well, well, sorry to cut it there, but but um I feel I'll, I'll I'll just say this out here because I feel I'll forget it when I get to my review. Um and like it's in the title, Bad Boys. It was like Will and Martin and Michael B. Just be bad yeah. boys, like yeah, be we can right. exactly. and just blow shit up, man. You know what I mean? Right, right, right. This right, one, right. this new, well, you know, well, this third one was like, but we older now, are we wiser now, are we smarter right. now, so we can't do that again. But All right, we we so can't still want to blow shit up. You know? bad. Like, and then they, they try to do this generational thing with the technology and da 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 da. And like, ah, okay, that is like it nothing. But the, the stuff with the, the stuff with the with the with the, with the, the Bruhia, Bruhita character and the son, that was, that was okay stuff. Well, right, well, Bruha, 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 right. You know, it it is that stuff was more interesting, and it's like okay, well, I, I said Bruhita because you know she was young then. Well, I make the mistake. Well, but the point is, she they make it work in that conceit now, and like because it, they make it a part of uh, Mike's Mike's past, that kind of works. So, like it, it had me somewhat invested, so I didn't hate it, but it was still my least favorite of the, 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 the trilogy, and so on and so forth. Uh get the thing now. Uh this fourth one now. Well, we you, you, you wanna you wanna start now. Yeah, yeah, sure, sure, sure. Go ahead. Yeah, right. what, so what, what was right they, about? Yeah, they, they evolved, they evolved the conceit. So yeah, Mike getting married, and they kind of do a time jump. They kind of explain why he getting married because he kind of, you know, again he getting softer, quote unquote, and he take with the therapist. So he like clearly open up to she, but he yeah, he, he get with the body therapist. And for whatever reason, they can't get Gabriel Union. So. <laughs> yeah, no. they make this this woman who does nothing in the movie, by the way, but whatever. No, you know, but they, but they, but you know, and and, and she British, so I I thought yeah, they were like, they, 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 like they, 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 they get a girl from so whatever. Yeah. Get married. No. But then they also have uh another thing which is well, Marcus's character. Yeah, he had a little little health issue, little health scare. Uh, and he, he they do they basically do the have him go to the Black Panther plane. To talk to um, the captain. <laughs> Good point. <laughs> and, I like that. I like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And to talk to the captain, uh, you know, but they, they had a whole thing. And then, well, the big, the big thing about the plotline now is, well, they focus on the captain and try to corrupt the captain. And they have a whole plotline involving that and the, the new villain. And, well, it, as I say, it have two people who kind of, quote unquote, not cancel, cancel, but they kind of get in a little bit of trouble, which is uh, the fellow who was fantastic for. Um, Oh um oh gosh that is um is is Eon Gruffin uh, right he had Gruffin. some weird like conservative stuff that he get again a little bit of trouble for something he sees something I forget oh, what it was okay okay I I, I, one, I, I, like, I know hearing about this better right? Uh, right apparently it was small it wasn't a minor thing but I was like oh he in this okay no scene but then the other one who can a little bit gain a little bit of trouble because of some shit she do the other day uh Tiffany Haddish she's in this although her yeah. her it, was it, 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 it was it it, it was, was pointless and she was it, it, it was pointless um and she wasn't funny. It, 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 uh, yeah, it, it wasn't really funny, and she was kind of right. going back without spoiling anything. It's it's kind of going to the to the girl strip kind of raunchiness, right? That bullshit, but yeah, that it, bullshit. It, just, it just did not work. It, it um, was, yeah. but but what I, what I will say though, I'll get that get into my um thoughts on that with my my um review. Um, yeah. they could expand that even more. That that whole sequence, that's all I say at the moment. They could yeah. expand that. I felt so that could have more, been more. Whatever. That should have yeah. been more. Yeah, you could kind of do something more with it. Whatever. Ah, hmm. uh, yeah, yeah. So that's about it. And yeah, so they, they they set up this whole conceit involving them. They need the son to come back. They you know they do kind of this that to the other in terms of a lot of the action. They do something. They they kill off um the character from from Wondred. Like oh shit, like. That yes, right. yeah, and we're yeah, not yeah, gonna say who, about. but right, like, right, right, right. Oh, and then, boy. uh, yeah, they do the thing. They, they basically, well, I'm just gonna straight up say it. The franchise turned into Fast and Furious. 
Yeah. Uh, uh-huh. Yeah, a little uh-huh. bit. You know, uh-huh. this, a, a fellow was the villain. Now he's like a good guy. <laughs> yeah, boy. And it's, it's this character getting married and now it's all about family. family. And it's fine. Like, it, it, it's fine, but it's still, like, they're clearly leading into the Fast and the Furious. They cle- like, to me, they clearly want to do that now. Like, they're clearly going to fill the gap that Fast and Furious leaves since Fast and Furious had to wrap up. And since it's Mike and Ting well, now... Well, wrap, wrap, wrap up, you see in quotes, eh? You know? Yeah, well, we don't know, eh? but you know yeah. that that last movie just felt like, all right, we're done. Time to yeah, but but remember, it. is 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 that that's the first part of a trilogy, yeah. Yeah, their words my, are point not is, nice. my point is <laughs> yeah. that it's started to fill back the gap of action movie grounded, grounded like action movie kind of stuff, and uh, to make it yes. Work. And mm. for white was just fine. Like they had a, a, like some solid beats in this, some some solid action beats in this. Yes, it's not as great as the first two, in my humble opinion. Still in that scary movie tree dimension not as bad as scary movie four or five or anything like that but still there like it's still a little generic but it, they do some decent action beats better action beats at this time in my humble opinion like that stuff with the camera and they show the behind the scenes with that with the camera following the gun but they count but they do the the kind of first person shooter point of view perspective yeah. kind of thing and then they flip it back because you saw the camera rotating around the gun itself and they, they show will smith himself holding the camera holding the rig up to, to use to, for the action sequence to get the shot and then yeah, I can live with all of that. Yeah, the action yeah. is still fun. It's still fine. It's not as not it. It's still decent. They they they, they reference a couple of stuff from from two in it because they talk about the Haitian guy and the the, the other guy with the stuff involving um Gitmo, that kind of stuff. I could totally see them bringing back Gabriel Union for the next one. Maybe not, you know that kind of thing. They're setting up all these, these kind of things. Maybe and then yeah, I could see them like going forward um with the with the thing i could i could totally see them like leaning into like that dimension of catering to the same um you know expanding universe stuff and try to rope other people in so i, I could totally see like shamal more from swat coming into the next movie or some shit like that right mm. i could see them mm. doing something like that like it clearly like they want to expand the family kind of stuff it have a whole tech team and it's a it's a whole thing with just more than one more than two bad boys but because the entire thing is still will and martin it kind of hard to drive away from that, but like you know, Willem Martin and again, all I, like I, I don't expect anything bad to happen to either of them, you know, going forward or anything like that. You know, God forbid, blah blah blah. But you know, what gonna happen if you have to keep going forward? Because much like with Vin Diesel, you can't, Fast and Furious can't, can't happen without Vin Diesel. They try, even though it's one of my, one of the better movies in my humble opinion, even though, but it is the one that don't work for a lot of people in terms of money. Sorry, Vin Diesel is the pull. Same thing with Will and Martin. You can't have it without Will and Martin. So they need to mm. like rotate around them. Um, but I, I, I had fun. They do something with a, a side character that was fucking hard, and then they end off with him. By far, yes, the yes, movie. yes. Yeah, they pay that off. They pay it off because it's some nonsense part, boys, too. And they, they hint at it, and they, they, they talk about it in three, and that was funny. But then they pay it off in this one. It's like, all right, that was hard. Full stop. Easily the highlight of the movie for me. Um, but yeah, I, I, I dug this. I, I had fun. Like I say, I didn't have fun. I, I dug it. Again, it's one of those good days. I had a beer or two. So it's wherever. But I I dug it. I I I didn't think it was that bad. And what it did with it, uh, um, the plot line itself was just kind of generic flat stuff. Like it, it wasn't that interesting. And they they, they, they do what, what they had to do with it. But for, for all intents and purposes, they just made the action work the ending. It had that whole scene with the gator, which was funny. It was right. It was right. Yeah, go ahead. Right, right, right. So, um, just getting gripes out of the way, right? Now, I'm not major, major, major gripes, right? But there's stuff that kind of held, 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 held uh, my enjoyment back a bit, right? Yeah. Um, for one thing, I felt them trailers by gave away too much yeah, of too the much. movie, yeah, man. Yeah, 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 so yeah, when yeah. I'm seeing set, when I'm seeing action but, set pieces, even though you're seeing more detail to them. I was like, I, I know we're going to end. I know we're well, going to end the, because, the they, stuff... because how the, the, the trailers were paced, it's All like, right. I already know what's going to happen. So like case in point, wish... a scene involving um, a, the helicopter. Uh, a, a helicopter, you know right. we're going to end. I wish, I wish, like, I wish we didn't means... see that. Yeah. yeah, boy. I wish you didn't see that. That's true. Yeah. So, so, so I felt like they were, they were they, um, not to say that nothing wowed me or surprised me, it's just that I wish that I did not see so much. Uh, uh, sorry, I should say, because, I mean, face it, we were going to watch the trailers, right? If they had given, if they had put out a third one, I'd be like, no, no, thank you. But we were going to watch the, f- well, the first one, obviously. I mean, I tag you on it, right? But that yeah. second one, we was going to watch that too, right? Um, And then a like, case in point, like that moment with the, with the alligator, like I saw that, so I was like, all right, that, well, I know what's going to happen yeah. there, duh. You know what I mm. mean? Um. Secondly, as far as action sequences go, right, while they were while they were very um, while they were connected and you know engaging and whatnot, um, I felt because they they add this like a little minor minor subplot, eh? 
But I felt they could have done so much more with that than just leave it to just a mere, you know, brief action scene. That right. whole um, minor sub, that sub subplot involving, oh, all the major gangs of, of Miami coming after you. Okay, I was the, like, it, I was just like, I, I thought they could have done more with that. Than, but I, was, I was rolling my eyes at, well, it, oh, it had another cameo. I forget about this other cameo. I was like, oh, stop it. Just. Oh, okay. okay. If, if, if I don't want to say what it is. You know what it is. I, 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 I know what it is, right? Um, yeah. I, I laugh at it because I remember I when, this, when, yeah. when that person showed back up when, when, sorry, right. when, when he was there last time, though. But the context of it was was kind of funny. But how yeah. that person went, I was like, oof, okay, right? Yeah. Um, yeah. Also, I didn't even know this, right? Because it was like a blinking and missing moment, right? Uh, remember there was this one gang guy with, and you see like, like, like he was showing off his grill? Right. That man was joined the Lucas in her. But I joined Lucas, right? I did not even I know that was him. Just like, wait, okay. that's you? What? Okay. But that's but the I, point. I, I, was, I, just... I was thinking of somebody else who's like very trying to ham it up and obvious and like, oh God. All right. Yeah, Which... yeah, yeah. Right. Yeah, so, so, so point is, I was expecting some warrior shit. I was expecting, like, right, or, right. you know, gang showing up, right? So I was, I was expecting something akin to the, the Haitian Zopon scene in Bad Boy Sue, which, you know, right. show shockingly reference here, right? But yeah. no, it just reduced to like this three minute action scene. And I'll put it like this, right? Without spoiling. Um, there's there's actually a moment in the in Bad Boys for Life Dread where, yeah, there was a gang that was going up after Marcus and Mike Dread. And that whole chase sequence, that car chase sequence was much better than what I saw here, Dread. This, this, yeah. this one just wrapped up so quickly, right? And right. it start off kind of interesting now with, you know, a certain character that you mentioned, a certain actress that, you know, you mentioned earlier. But because they had to spend that time telling a joke and being raunchy with it now, I was there like, okay, well, we're going to expand on that. We're going to see more more gang show up and you have like this full, I don't know, eight minute action scenes. Like, nope, we're just going to wrap up in a few minutes. Boom, that's it, the end, whatever. Yes, yeah, so that was that was a huge letdown for me, man. It could uh, kind of expand on the on that though. And I seen this too because it was in the marketing, it was in the trailer. I was like, I yeah. got sorry. You know, it, yeah. it was a letdown, right? Um, also, as far as the script goes... It's trying to be kind of how to say it's, it's trying to be much. referential with you know it's it's about you know um They're doing too much yeah it's about you know Captain Howard and you know yeah what, and, doing but, too much. but then much but then he was trying yeah. to do too much because they had yeah. a reference two and then they had a reference one like and then and then like, you, 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 you give him a you give him a you give him a bunch of like legwork just like like yes so, i remember well, the moment that you're mentioning too you know but you want to tell oh well you know while this was going on conrad was doing this at the same time it's like yeah no, bro stop well, it well, then is that they give martin the thing the scare thing but then uh -huh. they also give will one too like where, where does it come from like that, that doesn't seem to connect at all with him having the, the quote-unquote panic attacks like yeah uh, yeah yeah it, it just kind of came out to the blue, yeah, like, 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 like yeah, yeah. yeah. But but here's the thing, like I understand it where you're coming from. This cause cause people say, you know, cause my um well, you know, Mike has a son and you know, well he's married now, so you have to raise the stakes here. But nah, it, it was it was enough with Martin, with Martin's character going through is going through. Yeah, exactly. I didn't need it with Will. And right. um I, I could have done without the callback. I mean the stuff to the stuff with him connected to the son one. again is good. That that was yes, good enough, is. I felt yeah. right. Yeah. Right. So so just last point about action scenes, right? Yeah, I could have done without the chase scene as I was saying, so spoil anything. That is a clear reference to one. I could have done right. without that. Yeah, I know it but, is. Yeah. But 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 I, I actually applaud the directors for this. They finally get the 180 shot properly done. Right. Because in the last film they botched it because it was just put in like in this real imprompt. It was just real imprompt. You was just like, oh well. Where we go put it? Where we go put it? Okay, we'll put it here. And right. it was just like, no, that no, you don't put it there. You but put it it's after one of those... a, a, a great, a, a intense scene. You know, and you know, it's one of those. This one, I was like, all right, yes. Yeah, all the, all the it's one of those. It's one of those. You have you have all the, the toys and the thing. But you have to play with all the toys. And you don't have to. It's, that's true. It really that's feel true, like that's that. true. It, it really feel like they, they had to use all the toys in the, in the toy in the toy box. And like you know, you could you could you could hold back. I find a lot yeah, of yeah, yeah. You needed some reservation, surprisingly. Well, uh, agreed, yeah. But yeah. Again, so, this is again a franchise from Michael Bay. But even Michael Bay, I to me, had some workable conceit of how to dial back. Although, to be fair, he did. The only reason, yeah, yeah. The only reason I the case is because he had no money. Well, <laughs> that's that's true, yeah. Right. Um, so yeah, you know what I mean? I, I, I you know what, what I kind of appreciate the callbacks to the, to the, to the first two films, uh, I, I felt that they just made the plot even more convoluted, like just overly convoluted, not not too, too convoluted, but just like 
No, I didn't need to give me all this detail. You know, it just could have just been simple, whatever, blah, 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 premises. But you're you trying to, like, put more stuff and more stuff and more stuff. Like, nah, don't do that. Come on, man, right? And that leads to, like, the, the, the issue that I kind of find myself here, this weird position that I find myself here with these bad boys movies, especially with these new ones, right? Where, listen, I own the first two movies on Blu-ray, right? I was hoping that, you know, one day I could get three, and I thought that was, like, the trilogy, and that was the end of it. But after the end of three, I was like, nope, we get our next one, right? So maybe one day I'll get three and four, whatever other movies. God forbid I might end up having a box set like I do with the with the first um, seven Fast and Furious movies, right? So it might be like that, right? But point is, um, I will not go out of my way to say that the, the Bad Boys franchise is, like, one of the greatest as far as action movies go, right? I would say it's one of the most popular, yes, but I would I, I can't genuinely say that is one of like the all time greatest, right? So each show from one to now, right, all give you you know a certain vibe, but it's still like it have a similar energy and feel to it, right? But they all bring something new to the table, and you know they, they kind of give you you know a bit a bit different. A little, it's basically the same, but just a little tweak with the with the with the formula, right? So I appreciate that, right? right? So I just get this out of the way. I kind of find myself enjoying the previous film more than this. And okay, right. Okay, like it's, 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 it's simple. Right, no it's, it's simple. Right, okay. It's just me. Um, I just felt like as far as the tone, right? Because what I, what I will give Bad Boys for Life credit for, though, is that they brought a level of seriousness to it, right? Which we, I would say we haven't seen since the first film, right? But in this case, it felt it, it had more weighted because... You know, our leads are older, right? So there's there's right. more at stake here, right? You have family members that will suffer if they die of friends or whatnot, right? So you felt that weight, right? And I, I do admire that the last one always reminded you, yeah, 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 you know what I mean? We could die, right? So hence the title, For Life, right? But here, um, there, there, there's moments that are treated so seriously. It's not just about, you know, our leads, but also other characters. And when they get roped into this whole situation, I'm just there like... Um, all right, that, that shit real serious. Like, oh, okay, right. right? So at, at, at points, it would feel like you, I uh, get to the point, to the point that you're watching this and it would feel like, like I am just watching like this serious action film. Like what I mean, like serious, like I should take what I'm seeing seriously. But right. then you will drop a moment, you'll drop a joke and it's like, oh, no, 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 right. I, I agree with that. So, no, so there's like a one, kind of a une unevenness with the humor. No, that was one serious. big, that was one big dunk yeah. all of this. I really didn't care for the humor in this. Like, uh, it just had like some really weak humor beats. And stuff that, that is not, that's, that's not true. funny at um, all. Like in the first, in the first film, yeah, it has some goofy stuff, but it was really yeah. because Martin and and Will were riffing on each other. And exactly, really and, and and it was them again. They were they were back at it again. So it's right. like, oh, but this time, this time they just have a bunch of like clumsy comedy beats. Like I remember, it had this one scene with the jelly beans, or not jelly beans, or M and M's or some shit like that. It, no, like, it, it was um, oh gosh, it was it was Skittles. And Skittles, like, thank yeah, you. And I, it's I, some I, bullshit. And like that yeah. was that was just like, and they, they try to slow it down and make it a whole thing. And like yeah, but yeah, it's not I, funny. I just watched it. It's like why 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 are we doing this? It's and not then, funny. And then the song that they chose. What what what's that? What the song that they chose? Like I get it, kind of funny, but like like why, right? I'll right. mention something about music in a bit. That that's another then, great part. But had, go on. They had later beats. They had later comedy beats that I generally like. Like you know something involving somebody had a barbecue, some chicken. Yes, that was mm -hmm. a good beat. That was a great. Yeah, that, that was that, great. That was a good yeah. beat. That's funny. And it's a good. Well, it was the, the beat to end of the film on. They're like, okay, yes. it's working. Uh, but yeah. I don't know. And, like, and it's just I, I will admit, as far as beat school, right? So there, there was one involving slight spoiler. Um, Marcus thinking that he can't die. The setup right. for that, hey, I was like, this, this hey, real annoying. Dumb, but the payoff, yeah, though, the payoff right. was like, all right, I right. like the payoff. I like the payoff the, for the, that, the, yeah. the ending, right? They will involve the gator, right? Or is the gator? Um, it's it's after the gator. That's what you say. It's right. after the gator, right? That that right. moment, I was like, all right, that's the payoff. Right. I like that. But yeah, right. the setup was like, why 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 would Marcus do this? Right? Like this, yeah, like yeah, he dumb. being goofy yeah, for the face, sake, sake of being goofy, right? Um, but that, but you know, just last gripe, and then I'll move on to buzzes, right? Um, as far as music. Believe it or not, um, I didn't find myself latching on to like any song from this movie though. And I'm here's the thing: I, 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 I feel is a marketing thing, right? Because you know, it's it's we, we we there was there was more concern about marketing the movie than you know the music now. And if you're, yeah. if you're familiar with Bad Boys films, yeah, there's always a song that drives it, right? So the first one was Shy Guy from Diana King, and you know, to extend so many ways from Warren G, right? Um. Bad Boys 2 was, you know, shake it tail feather. 
It was that. Right, 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 right. Um, yeah. and the third one was a song that I genuinely like. That was Ritmo. That's from um Black Eyed Peas. Um, that that's the one that sampled Rhythm of the Night. It, it did that. I thought that was like a nice little flip on that. that and it worked. And it drove the film. And when they work it in, there was a club scene. I was like, yeah, you know what I mean. But yeah, Again, there was a club feeling... scene in this. And like, I I not wait 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 where's the driving song? Where's the song that Again, when I, I leave the, the theaters, I'm gonna go on Spotify and find. I found none here. I like, get the feeling. I get the feeling. It's probably because P did it. Was related to that, and they had to cut. I'm not sure. Oh, but but you know. here's the thing. Eh? I have the soundtrack on me right. Well, on me right now, right. And I surprised them that that soundtrack is like barely a half hour. Or so they're like, yeah. we where where the other songs going, dog? But you know, for all we know, for all we know, they may have some bad boy entertainment stuff that was yep. there, that was cut out yep. or something, yeah, or maybe like like go like just like you know, like Fast Six, for example. You take right. like a song from the catalog, like how they did Notorious Talks, and they did a remake of it. Something yeah. like that. They be, they probably take some bad boys theme song from the catalog and redid it or something. So maybe that's why. But yeah, there was no song in it though that I came out like, yeah, boy, the song though. You know what I mean? And no video neither. You know what I mean? That that's real weird though. Like coming from a franchise like Bad Boys, right? Well, I don't expect that in today's world. Like, it, it, it is done. As I say, this is more this is more fast and furious than anything in terms of like the the size of it or the the approach. Yeah. To 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 be fair though, just just last point of music, I promise I'll shut up, right? Um, there is there was a song that he was kind of pitching at that this was with um with Will I Am again and some right. other people, but I heard a piece of it. I was like, nah, I'm not feeling that. No, it's, it's, it's not yeah. Rick Mordred. It's not Rick Mordred. I'm sorry, it's just not Rick Mordred. I hear a piece of it, but it's like, nah. Right. But that being said though, um, Will and and Martin again steal the show. They they, they hold right. the show down. Um. Again, you you know we can make the argument that yes, Martin steals the show. You know, even though he he he's given a lot more goofier moments here. Uh, yeah. I do like the little existential moment that he have here, and you might think it's kind of out like out of the box or whatever. It's kind of out there, it makes no sense. But remember, um, this was a guy who was seeing Wusa in in two, so it, it right. kind of makes it that he would be that kind of guy to well, take it, the what way it, because he does what they set up earlier, as I say, he, he gave Black Panther vision. No? Uh, yeah, so, it, it, exactly. exactly. Um, and I like that it actually ropes into to Howard. I like how Howard was right. worked into the story as well, right? Um, even in the end too, I like what they did there. there um, did there, right? Um, I didn't expect to see uh McGill Rhea Seahorn from Better Call Saul. She she plays Howard's daughter. I was like, hey, okay, right, 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 right. okay, you in this? Alright, cool. And she was good when she was on screen with, with with what they gave her, right? Um, but yeah, you know, it's Will and Martin true true. Um, I was surprised that you only saw well, okay, well, you, you saw Rita and Dom and Kelly from Ammo. That's the group that was helping out uh Marcus and Mike in the last film. But there's another guy. This um, oh gosh, I, I think his name is Charles Melton. He was your guy in May December. I now realize that. Yeah, he wasn't in it for some reason. I don't know why, but he okay. wasn't there. So there was just one member short of the group. That was that was really weird. But um, they actually give Dom and Kelly, well, Kelly be, be, being played by Vanessa Hudgens, a little bit more screen time. I appreciate that. Right. Um, I, I was real iffy with the recasting of Teresa as in Marcus's wife. Come, I was like, wait, wait, wait Teresa she, Randall? She was in the last film. They actually get this girl who was in okay. um, she was actually in Empire. She she played um. Right. Uh, Taraji P. Henson's okay, friend. I can't remember uh, if, if she was in the third film. I forget if she was if Thing was in the third film or not. Yeah, yeah. yeah. R- Randall was in the third film. She was okay, in the third okay, film. No problem. Yeah, she was right. there. So I was like, wait, what, 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 what was this? You know, it, it was yeah, weird. It was real weird. And um, just just going back to to you know what we've seen before with Bad Boys films, they really could have given Will's wife in the film more to do. Right. They, re- they could have they could have given her more moments. That that have a be in the middle of things, right? You know what I mean? But still just have a, a, a just more to do instead of just being the 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 um the you know the victim, right? The the the, right, the kidnap right. the kidnap yeah, yeah, right? That's a damsel in distress, yeah. Damsel in distress, man. It's like geez, you could have given me more like at least get a set up how they met. Okay, say oh is the therapist. Well okay, well all right. Well they mentioned mm. a therapist at the end of the last film. That's interesting, but nobody will remember that. I only knew that because I saw the last, I, I recapped it, but okay, whatever. But yeah, they could have given them more to do, right? Um, but yeah, you know what I mean? Just everybody, you know, everybody just kind of did what they had to do, right? Um, the action scenes, I would say, have stepped up from the last film, though. I must say, though, whether right. it's the that, first that, angle, that's what you know, stick, well, well, stick with you me. know yeah. the, the, the POV view of the, or the guns moving and whatnot. Yeah. Um, and even just the the the, the use of cameras, like the, the camera movements yeah. of this, though, you know what I mean? Just so kinetic, right? Um, I was picking on music, right? I was picking on music so much, right? But there is one needle drop, though. 
when it come in and it's doing an action, see what I hear that? I was not in my head, dreaded, and I right. did not care because I'm a hip hop head and I know that song and I love that song. But right. how they brought it in was so so clear. So I don't and, know if this is what you're talking about, but I, it come across like it's a reference to the Chris Rock thing right after that. Yep, uh, it is. Right. It is. Okay. It is that. Right. It is that because right. fun right. fact, um, right. Chris Rock is a huge, huge, huge fan of that group and that <laughs> album. So Bruh. yes, that's that's why. That's why. Yes, yes, yes. And yes, you know there is a reference to the slap. Unfortunately, social media spoiled it for me. And what I mean, right. like I just scrolling up and I see in the YSA, so oh, that the scene with the slap. Right, 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 right. So yeah. I wasn't looking, looking for it, but when it happened, I was like, oh, that's it. All right. Yeah, and then yeah, it happened yeah. again. I was like, oh, okay, okay, uh, uh, again. But like, uh, uh, like I felt it, it was running it a little too long. But then when you bring this song afterwards, I was like, all right, right, all right. yeah, yeah, yeah. So last thing I'll say, and then and then I'll I'll, I'll get to it, right? The beauty of the show, though, for me, is the experience of seeing it in a theater with a crowd. Like, like I yeah. went to a three o'clock show and see it, uh, yeah. and people were cracking up at this. Though there was there was like this um these two ladies behind me who was just like doing right. audio commentary throughout the whole damn show. They said, "Oh, yeah. you know, oh, I see what Will can do." Ah, you know what I mean? And just right. laughing at literally everything. So while I wish I could have been laughing as much as they were, you know what I mean? For me, it's just because the trailer spoils so much, right? Like, I wish yeah. I was laughing hard with the alligator scene, but the trailer spoiled it. Oh, sorry, right. you know what I mean? And yeah, for me, I like you, I felt like the jokes didn't land as hard as they did in the last film, though. They just felt a little too goofy for the sake of it, right? And yeah. yes, they have the chemistry and they're riffing and whatnot, but still, it just needed a little bit more punched it, right? But the action scenes are kinetic, though. Um, the villain is boilerplate, but you know he's serviceable yeah. in the film too. And yeah, when it, the, when the, it villains things... the villains in this franchise are always boilerplate anyway, except for the third one. Third one, except I, I thought the was... third one. So I thought yeah, he was exactly. gonna like exp- you know keep the keep the momentum going. Like no, let's go back yeah. to a generic guy who just want to seek revenge on on Captain Howard because reasons. And it's like okay, right, well, yeah. right, you know what I mean. But yeah, I, I uh, just so just in closing though, um, as far as the action goes, I felt like you know well you know the. Uh, uh, um, Adil and Bilal again I felt like they stepped things up in the action department right it's right. to the point that I can imagine Michael Bay who slight spoiler makes another appearance I thought that was really interesting could watch this back like, yeah wait, wait, when did he make his appearance I, I miss it I think I went to the toilet that time. Uh, the, the, this was in the goofy scene with, 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 with Martin doing some goofy shit and he was in the road and then he oh, um, a, a, a car almost runs into him and the, okay, the guy well, driving it was no Michael Bay yeah okay okay right Right, it was there, right? Um, but yeah, you know, they really stepped things up to the point that, yeah, you know, it it, it, it could rival. It rivals what Michael Bay did with the first two movies. But right. I just felt like just the balance, just the tonal balance was just off, you know what I mean? So there was moments that was just so serious and felt like it was really serious. And then you'll hear something goofy, you'll see some goofy. It's like, okay, you know, uh, all right. right. So we're back, right. we back at the goofy shit. We can laugh now. Okay, whew, no problem, right? And yeah, I felt they could have done more with some of the subplots, like with the gang stuff. And um, even with the, uh, well, I should say, I also like what they did with with uh, with Will's son as well. I forgot to mention that. Right. Yeah, right. and you know, I, I just also had to remind myself that that dude is British, you know? Right, he right, don't right. look at it though. He don't sound it neither. You know what I mean? But yeah, you know, he he did his thing, right? Um, so yeah, while I did not enjoy Ride or Die as much as For Life, though, this is still a solid entry in this like new era of bad boys movies, right? But but for me again, though, just the issue I have with this franchise is that I can't genuinely say that one is like okay, like there's one that you, you that, you, that you'll prefer the most out of all of them, right? But it just depends on you know how, how what you get from it, right? So I could say right out the gate that I really enjoy two, but right, two right. Will, be, will be viewed as the most mindless and the most dumb and the most excessive, right? right. But I just kind of like that, right? But you know, so each film kind of brings its own kind of flavor to it, right? This little subtle thing to it, right? But I can't say that there's genuinely one that I that I will see is one of the greatest films of all time, so to speak, right? So point is is you kind of go into these shows like it's just popcorn entertainment. You just kind of watch it with a crowd and you have fun, right? But it's not shows that they're gonna be remembering in a hurry. Unfortunately, it's just not like that. But you will be entertained nonetheless. And I was entertained by it. I, I thought it was fine for what it was, but I don't know. I just felt it could have been a little better than um, Bad Boys for Life, right? So right. wise, I'm gonna give this a decent, a strong three and a half out of five, man. It's it's worth checking out. Um, and I would say if you can, please see it on a big screen. Please see with a crowd. Please, and you know, because 
just the communal experience of seeing it there makes it all the more fun to watch, right? But if you're watching home, um, okay, it kind of, right. it kind of, well, as the first movie to like really pick up the summer, you know, I don't know about saving the summer or anything like that, but they, I think it got a decent uh, opening, you know, yeah, kind of thing. Like, yeah, well, well, and, Martin and, is an easy draw, so you know, yeah, and, and especially we, and especially just the the weird state of the box office right now with right, stuff yeah, like yeah, yeah. like yeah. Four Guy and and Fury so yeah, we yeah. we, we kind of need something like this to bring to to bring hope you know, to kind of get people out of the homes and into the theaters, man. You know what I mean? So right. I'm down for that, right? But I would say that if you are a die-hard fan of these of, of the franchise, you will enjoy this nonetheless, despite the flaws that are noticeable in the film. You will still enjoy it nonetheless, right? But I don't know, like like just for me, I just thought it would have it would have it, it kind of improves and kind of does not the same time for what we saw for the last film. That's that's unfortunate. But yeah, it's a lot for what it for what it was, man. So yeah, so Ricardo, yeah, final thoughts and written. Yeah, again, a point in the same vein as Tree, but because this had better action set pieces than, than Tree, in my humble opinion, uh, it it still worked a little better. Again, stuff involving a certain side characters really what like put it over the top for me and and hold it. Hold yeah, it. Uh, well, I I didn't mention that. Yes, that is the best scene in the movie. Folks, yes, that is the best hard. scene of the movie. It had, yeah. it had, it had, it had, it had a lot. Yeah. But yeah, I, I thought I thought they make this they make this conceit work. Um, as I said, it's one of those things that I would like to see them. It, it could totally become another Fast and Furious. Like, I could see it being like a Fast and Furious franchise, like where there's a bunch of sequels. This is like the fourth one, so I could see them belting out two, three more of these again easily. You know, a couple of years from now, the next one could come out totally easily, and so on and so forth. They, they, have, they have a momentum going with it, and I could see it getting better and bigger. And yeah, much like with the Fast and Furious, that got huge, especially with six and seven. Um, I could see that happening now, like, you know, that kind of thing. So I could, if they, they write the right script and they get the right people to come through and, and so on, so they have something. They have something here. For the most part, I'm one of the. I'm still the person who loved the first one. I find the first one is still my favorite. Um, mm-hmm. but as a franchise, I can see evolving in fascinating and interesting ways. Moving on, next. Oh, written. Yeah, so, uh, written. Uh, yeah, it's a motor ten. Like I didn't again, didn't super love it. It's not like some masterpiece or anything like that. Just have good, good beats and had fun. Yeah. All right. So last thing, as I mentioned, Fast and Furious. Right? Do you expect that you know if we do get a Bad Boys Five, right? Do you think it could be like Fast Five, you know what I mean? No, but that was what I was saying. That's you know what I mean? saying. <laughs> yeah. They can make the right call. They can make the right call and get somebody to come in who big and hype it up now. So you know you have Will and Martin, but you get somebody to really like pull a crowd now. And I don't know who it could be. I have no idea who it could be. Like I don't know what star it could be. Like off the top of my head, the person I would I would rope into the franchise is somebody like Shamar Moore. If you know what he, he he has a SWAT TV show that's going on for a yeah, while yeah. now. Mm. Right. Yeah, yeah, and uh, um, uh, so surprisingly going on strong though, like oh. right, yeah, 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 exactly. I could see somebody like him coming into the franchise and and making it work or something like that. He's he's not as big as say when doing Rock Johnson was at his height, but they do the same idea now, really similar character, same conceit, you know, badass, right, brown badass guy who's a cop comes in to to shake up the thing, but because Will and Martin already cops, you could do something different with it. I'm not sure. That's it. But as I yeah. said, I, I could see them making a decision like that for the next one. And, you know, maybe I had to change the directors. I'm not sure what we, we do see. But I, I can see this. I can see the producers in the studio making some really smart calls in terms of like getting getting butts and seats for the next one. And uh, yeah. And then set up your set pieces, get somebody real hard at action and bring them in. I, I forget who real good at action right now. Um, shit. Slip, slip in my mind right now. Uh, off the top of my head of a real good action director they could get to come true. But whatever. We'll see. Time will tell. Yeah, yeah, time, time will tell. Because I mean, hopefully with the success of this, um, a part five, yeah, is, is yeah, yeah, yeah. This, 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 as I say, it, it, it starts, it starts strong. I could see it making a, a good, a good, a good little, little change, a little chunk of change. So far, because see, so far it, it had, a, I think it have our like by t- by tomorrow or tonight, you'll see what the full full um, box office for the weekend would be. Um, but I think it, it doing okay. Right, right, right. But yeah, you know what I mean. Well, well, hopefully. I'm not saying this will be the show to save you know the summer blockbuster season, but it it looks like it's getting up to be one of the films that will do that, man. So yeah, right. I can't be mad at that, right? But yeah, again, um, I would strongly recommend checking it out in theaters, um, because I I mean watching home is like, oh gosh, man, like like you need to watch this with people, dude. That that's the joy of watching bad boys movies anyway, right? But unless you are a huge fan and you have no problem watching home and cracking up loud at this um, by yourself well i don't know i guess we till come out digitally but still i would say it is worth checking out in theaters and it's yeah. just worth checking out period so yeah you know check it out when you get a chance 